what's up guys and welcome you are watching fuzzy fitness i am gonna start this video with the physique update of a guy who hasn't been in bodybuilding trends for the last few years officially he hasn't retired but it is understood at this point that he won't take such health risks of building up all that size again and compete. I am talking about Juan Morale. Juan was like one of the freakiest guys at his peak, especially in the upper body. Legs, however, were always a weak point for him throughout his career. I think the Olympia 2020 was his last contest, where he placed 16th and wasn't a good luck. Since then, he has been focusing on growing his business full time and actually doing really great. Looking at this current physique, it's amazing to see how much his body has changed, how much muscle he lost during the last two years. It's also a proof that how much gear matters in the sport of professional bodybuilding. That hard, grainy, shredded and vascular log, it comes with the price. Yes, we know he must be eating a lot less right now than what he used to when he was competing. We can also be sure of the fact that one might be running just TRT for now. I mean, props to him for making health his number one priority. He is looking healthy right now. Consider him retired because he isn't coming back at 40 expecting to win something. If we look at Ronnie Coleman's career, the physique he presented in 2002 might be the weakest of his career. Obviously, we aren't considering the year 2007. He was only a shed of himself that year. Also, not considering the years before 98. Many thought that Ronnie's reign as a champ will end in 2003, especially after he lost to Gunter in GNC Show of Strength. But, what happened in 2003 is history. The champ showed up as larger-than-life character, destroyed his opponents with the sheer mass and great condition, although he was sharper in 98 and 99. But the overall package of 2003 is arguably still unbeatable in any era of this sport. Now. Talking about sheer mass and size, the way our current reigning champion Big Rami is training and how crazy he looked above 330 pounds just goes to show us that something special is in the making for December. Although Rami won last year, he himself and the coach Chad Nichols weren't satisfied with that look. So, they promised the fans that the next year, things will be different. Rami is looking extremely motivated. He has a small team of people around him and there shouldn't be any doubt in our minds that if Rami shows up better than 2020, he is gonna definitely win the third title of his career. I mean, right now, for me personally, I just want to be able to be in that top 10. You know, I didn't raise my first Olympia, man, and I don't think that, you know, that could sort of be in my favor or not. But yeah, man, for me personally, I want to crack that top 10. That'll be a happy point for me. Really like the way Samson's thought process works. We can all agree that Samson has the capacity to do a lot better than top 10 at his Olympia debut if he shows up better than the Arnold Classic Finals. That package was amazing. But Samson just keeps saying that he wants to be top 10 for this year. He is the only guy closest to Big Rami's league 
when it comes to getting body weight so high while maintaining great condition. He has awesome symmetry. His back must have come up during the off season. That is the only weak link in his body. Looks like Samson wants no pressure on him as he goes into his first ever Olympia. And it makes total sense. Honestly, I don't at all, you know, I don't really think I'm being slept on at all, you know, and especially I don't want that high pressure, amount of pressure like that, you know, because honestly, when you go into that prep phase, the more people underestimate what that sort of pressure does to you in prep, you know. One can only imagine how much pressure Nick Walker or Hunter Labrada must be feeling as these are the two young guys who are being taught as the potential Mr. Olympia title contenders for this year. Hunter Labrada is extremely happy with how things are looking at 17 weeks out. He has no aches and pains. His training intensity is over the roof right now. He is just about an inch taller than Nick Walker, so close to 5'8". For a guy this height, Weighing close to 290 with such great condition, Hunter is really dangerous. Here is the latest one from Nick Walker, the front relaxed pose. I think we will all appreciate his physique a lot more when he is shredded because his waist will appear a lot more smaller. Not that his waist looks bigger now, but still, he had to bring up his cores this offseason, and he did that in a great fashion. Very excited for Nick vs. Hunter rematch in 17 weeks. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video, and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.